Hey everyone, here's a little video on these turbochargers that I've got here. Um, the two Garrett versions is a G25 660. So that's got a smaller turbine blade than this one here, which is the G30. Both of these are Pulsar versions, uh, albeit they do share and have copied the blades exactly. So the size of the blades would be the exact same. But there is quite a comparable difference between the two. So the G25 <coughs> turbine blade inducer, the larger side of it is 54mm and the smaller outlet side that you can actually see here is 49mm. On the G30 we're looking at 60mm and 55mm, so the 55mm is the part you can see. And this turbo here we've got is the Borg Warner EFR6758. So that's got a 58mm as the larger diameter of the uh, turbine wheel and the smaller diameter of the turbine wheel, the bit that you can actually see there is 51 millimeters. All three of these units, so these two are rated for 660 horsepower, allegedly from Garrett, albeit the compressor maps sort of seem to run a little bit short on what they quote. Um, the EFR uh, 6758 is rated for 500 horsepower uh, from Borg Warner. All three share the same sized compressor wheels, a uh, 54mm inducer and 67mm extducer. Um, I'll just turn them over and we'll have a little look inside. So the G25 660 and the G30 660 are identical. We've got the same bearing cartridge, same compressor housing, same compressor wheel. Uh, it's just the turbine wheel that's a different size. So everything else is exactly the same, but just this one's rated for a bigger engine over this one. This one's more sort of two litre, and this one here you put, you know, probably better running on a three litre engine. Um, the Borg Warner EFR, so have a look at this one. So the blade structure on this one's completely different. It's a six blade splitter, so six big blades, six small blades, as opposed to the Garrett offering. How many blades have we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got nine large, nine major blades on that one, and no minor blades. This Borg Warner unit is a twin scroll, T4 flange, it's a very large flange, so it's not ideal if you're quite tight on the space fitment wise. Plus the Borg Warner unit doesn't come with any flanges, so then you spend an absolute fortune getting this one. And if you want a transition flange, it makes it go to round pipes instead of having the squares, which are quite difficult to marry up to with round pipes, uh, then that's quite expensive. Then obviously you've got your downpipe flange and V-band clamp, they're sold separately, it's quite expensive, so the cost of this one soon starts to mount up unfortunately. The Garrett units, even the genuine one, is quite a bit cheaper than this one, and they do come with the V-bands and the clamps as well, so that does take off quite a lot of the uh, overall cost of a project on that one. And being V-band, it's nice and easy, very very easy to fit, whereas these T4 bolts, nuts and bolts, some of them are sort of impossible to get to, by the time you put a stud through and try and put a nut on the end of it, it's pretty impossible really. The Garrett and the Pulsar here is an iron core, uh, whereas this Borg Warner here has got an aluminium core. There is a notable weight difference between the units. I've got a set of scales here. So these are just turbos, no flanges, both have got actuators. That's 7.3. That one's 7.8 kilos for the G30. Obviously Borg have done a very good job there because that's a twin scroll housing. It is a little bit larger. That's a stainless steel housing that comes with them as standard. Alloy core. Got a V-band here. And these nuts that um, connect the um, bearing cartridge to the turbine housing, when you loosen those you can swivel it around as well. So you've got quite good flexibility as to what position you want to go to there as well. So. Yeah, a little brief overview of these units, seeing as I had them all here.